All right, hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in February 1st, 2020, uh, about 10.45 p.m. or a.m. Got an earthquake coming into the California region. You can see it showing up rather nicely on the China Lake Station. That's in the Ridgecrest area of uh, Southern California, kind of around the uh, July 4th, July 5th earthquake sequence area. But that is not the specific location this earthquake took place in. Uh, and looking on the globe here, looks like they downgraded it from a 4.7 to a 4.4. Now this is the area that the earthquake struck. Mammoth Lakes, California, which is Long Valley Super Volcano. Now this is a pretty good sized earthquake for that area. Now no stranger to, um, to swarms as we've, as we've seen in the past, but to have a 4.4 or 4.7 like that pop up out of the blue is rather startling. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in to the specific location of Topic. And you can see the red circle there indicating the epicenter area. Long Valley Super Volcano. A lot of folks know it. A lot of folks don't know about it. It is a super volcano. And uh, it's, it's uh, been through some fa phases. Excuse me. Start getting hiccups. Of uh, activity over the years. Swarming and whatnot. Uh, of course, they did have a big one uh, quite a few years ago. I can't remember exactly when that struck around this area, but uh, this 4.4 striking at about 10 kilometers below the surface, 13 kilometers west-northwest of Tom's Place in California, but uh, kind of right outside, right outside of the Caldera Edge, which kind of sits, uh, see if I can pinpoint this, the caldera edge is just kind of right to the east, northeast area, kind of where you see all the uh, fractures, kind of where the airport is. Um, and then, of course, over well over to the east, further than that, east of Lake Crawley, you can see the, uh, the other leading caldera edge. But uh, pretty, pretty good-sized earthquake there, just showing up out of the blue in, uh, in an area that... Uh, well, could cause major devastation if it did happen to erupt. So, we will keep an eye on it. Um, prior to this earthquake, there was relatively not a whole lot of activity right now. Let's go down, uh, let's go down here a little bit. The Southern California, we can check out the activity down there near the Ridgecrest area, which has been pretty minimal. Um, over the last 24 hours, uh, let's see if I can find it here. Ridgecrest down here, only been a couple, actually just one 2.5. But then again, <clears throat> this is just the one day magnitude 2.5 and above map. Uh, so anyway, activity pretty quiet. But now we'll see what happens here with the uh, kind of a minor. It's a moderate sized quake down there in the Long Valley Super Volcano region. The rest of the globe, uh, relatively. Let's get off here. Over here, the Earthquake 3D globe. Yeah, that popped in at a 4.7, so it's kind of strange there. A little downgrading from the USGS, but of course, it does happen. So, uh, speaking of the globe, not a whole lot of activity worldwide. Um, some increase in activity in Hawaii, it looks like. I'll have to check that out and see what's going on there. But uh, as far as regular earthquake activity here in the Pacific Ring of Fire, relatively quiet. <clears throat> some uh, moderate earthquake activity down here at the south part of South America. Just off the coast there, 4.6. Um, and then Puerto Rico still kind of swarming a little bit with their earthquake activity. So anyway, um, we'll keep an eye on this. Like I said, pretty uh, interesting to see a little larger than earthquake activity in this area near Mammoth Lakes. But uh, we will continue to monitor it. I did have to cut my short my trip short a little bit. <clears throat> so I am back. I uh, didn't get to travel way up the coast like I wanted to. So, yeah. But other than that... Uh, I did uh, get to see quite a bit of uh, uh, 
features out there along the coastline and see some pretty tremendous tall trees uh, the redwood the old growth redwood forest out there along the uh, coastlines of northern california pretty uh, tremendous and uh <clears throat> powerful considering some of those trees are like 2000 years old uh anyway we're gonna jump off here uh live stream is up and running and uh we'll be off here for a little bit have a good day everyone